Welcome back, Team Viber. Back again with another video. Now, this is my cousin Dila Shay, and we just left from watching the movie Escape, Escape Room. room. <laughs> <laughs> and I just decided that why not let's do a quick review. Now, we're going to be reviewing this movie without spoilers because we went to the movies and watched it, so we didn't really take no notes. So, Dila Shay, how did you like the movie? I loved the movie. Yeah, so Bird Box is like a suspenseful movie. Like, it's kind of. Did I say Bird Box? Yeah. It's <laughs> this one was better than Bird Box. So Escape Room is like a, a suspenseful, like it wasn't really scary. So it was six main characters and basically they were inside of this escape room going through different rooms throughout the movie. Um, there was like, there was like this, and each of them had like a certain background on how they survived. Right. Explain it like you was explaining to your mama. Right. I'm not going to put this in there. Right. Yeah. Okay. Didn't you say you was a better actress than her? Oh, well, okay. <laughs> First of all, that was me acting. That? <laughs> that was, yes. Okay, so basically, the escape room, the movie was really good. It was just like the game escape room where you got to find the clues to get out the room with a certain amount of time. But this was a movie and they tricked them into making the game real. So I guess the six people that ended up playing the game all went through something in their past to where they were the only survivor. For example, there was this girl who went on a plane, who was on a plane going to a trip with her mom and the plane crashed and somehow... She yeah. was the long survivor. Yeah, somehow, because I don't know. There was also this man who, like, how did he end up on that ice? Because I don't know. <laughs> he was in a boat accident. Yeah. Or somewhere cold and him and his friend ended up on ice and I'm not gonna spoil the movie like I said. But he was a long survivor. Yeah. What happened a to mine him? worker, he was a long survivor. A war veteran, she was a long survivor. Yeah, so basically all six people were a long survivor at one point. So now some evil person and put these six people, they know about all their background, they put them inside this escape room to see who will be the survivor. And they tricked them into thinking that this escape room you win ten thousand dollars and it's just like a regular room, but really in reality it's a room where they lose somebody, actually lose somebody if they in each escape. room. Yeah. So throughout the movie, the clues that they used to escape were clues that they had inside their bad situations. Like for example, one of the characters, his situation was that he was drunk when he was in college coming from a party and he was the one that was drink that was drunk in a car with his friends and he didn't want to take a cab so he drove and there was a bad car accident that killed all his friends and he was the lone survivor but while they were driving the song that was playing was rudolph the red nosed reindeer and you know the line says he'll go down in history that was like a line where they were trying to figure out a seven letter word and the clue was you'll go down in history and he remembered that rudolph because that song was playing when he had the car accident where all his friends died. So basically, in the end, there was a lot of, well, throughout the movie, there was a lot of twists and turns where you thought this might happen, but this ended up happening. It was so good. I was jumping on the edge of my seat every turn. And you said you thought it was better than you thought it was would have been, right? It, it, it was better, just because I didn't know none of those actors or actresses. I only knew one, actually. So I didn't think it was going to be a good movie, just like Netflix movies, but it was better than I expected. I think it was kind of like, one part in the movie that I didn't like, like the only part in the movie that I didn't like, and it's not even nothing that has to do with this specific movie, just movies in general. I don't like when they spoil the ending in the beginning. In the beginning of the movie, they show a flashback or a flash forward, and then the movie is a flashback, just like Bird Box. And um, I just don't like those type of movies because I feel like I know who's gonna be eliminated throughout the movie. But um, the ending was kind of confusing for me a little bit, but I got it. What about you? Um, I like the whole thing. I don't mind this uh, flashback at the beginning just because it opened the movie up with some excitement. Like, it's not a whole, they just, you know, you going through the house with the camera. Like, as soon as it came on, it was exciting. So they get me ready to watch the movie. Yeah, so. If you haven't been to an escape room, I saw somebody on the news say that they didn't like the movie 
And then the other guy said, oh, it's probably because you've never been to an escape room. But to me, personally, even though I've already been to one, so it's probably dope out. I think that you would like the movie even if you haven't yeah. went to the escape room. Because I think they pretty much explain it throughout the movie. But um, that's it for this video. Um, I give the movie two thumbs up. I liked it. I will recommend y'all to go see it. I do too. Can I put so. two thumbs up? Yeah. <laughs> I put two thumbs up too. Catch you later.